The United Kingdom, the people of the United Kingdom, those who voted because of immigration, I have empathy for them because they're scared of nothing. They're scared of the idea that's being fed to them by the boogeyman, which is the media. For those who voted, though, to try and help the rest of you, to try and stop a conglomerate of corporations and bankers because the UK is getting very switched on and very much sharing information and people are learning this quick, then they did you a favour. And if you're going to criticise them, and if you're going to say stupid things, and if you're going to bring up the past and say, well, the United Kingdom invaded the rest of the planet, but then they complain about immigration, then you need to go back away and you need to go within yourself and you need to develop. You need to understand that uniting people is what you want to be doing, not dividing people. And you can't just unite the countries and the nations that you've been told exist on planet Earth. Because all you're doing then is surrendering yourself to the central banking system. You're surrendering yourself to the, the model of the planet which has been built through the wars and stuff that everyone's saying we shouldn't have had and shouldn't be going on. England left the EU. The United Kingdom left the EU, sorry. Easy for me to say that because I'm from England, but the United Kingdom left the EU. If you do a little bit of research, it's at least slowed down. Some of the central banking cartels that are pushing to have all of these unions, not for the right reasons. I want to unify the world. I want us to give up war. I want us to give up borders. I want us to give up imaginary lines. And I want us to give up saying they and, and them. I want us to be us. But I don't want to do it with a secret elite at the top of the pile because all of the new age people who are now promoting the movement, which is happening a whole lot, have bought into it without doing any research. Yeah, we need to unite everyone under, un, 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 all the nations should be one. Great idea, amazing idea, what the world needs. But humanity has to gear it, not the government and not the banking cartels. And the European Union is set up and created not by humanity, but by the elite and the banking cartels. And the United Kingdom just pulled out of it. The people pulled away from the banking cartels. I've got my camera up in a tree today, which is different thing for me, so if it falls, <laughs> you know what happened. I want to talk about what is on, it would appear, most of the world's mind, which is the UK coming out of the EU, or the Brexit, and all this. And I want to give a perspective of someone who doesn't live in England and didn't vote. Who doesn't live in the United Kingdom, I should say. Didn't vote probably wouldn't have voted if I was there but I kind of want to speak about a complete misconception and uneducated wave of comments and criticisms that's going across the planet at the moment and I get most of my media and most of my information from quite free thinking aspects of humanity and because of that I know from this that the free thinking aspects of humanity are really playing into the hands of the elite to some, to some, to some degree. They're kind of living in an illusional concept of what's going to go on. Now I am all for the concept of uniting the nations, uniting the planet, but what I'm not for the concept of actually is uniting the existing nations, uniting the people under a, a loving blanket of humanity, of the love and caring of humanity. That's something we should aim to do. Uniting nations of people sounds great, but what if the nations are broken, which they are? What's the point in uniting nations if the persons living inside the nations are still living in servitude to debt, debt slavery, are still governed by a central banking system? an unjust, completely unfair and unjust central banking system. So 
Did the United Kingdom leave the EU? Well, the people voted to come out of the EU. And the United Kingdom as an entity, as the idea, as the concept, as the imaginary lines that the persons live within, didn't do that. It was forced by the people to move out of the European Union. But for those of you saying, well, this is all about people who are scared of immigration, if you watch my other videos, if you watch my video about patriotism, or which can fall under nationalism, if you watch that video, you'll see that I'm completely with you on this. I am completely against the concept of being proud of where you're from to the degree that you want to keep other people out. Because those human beings, your free will begins at the age of four or five. So before there, you don't have any credit for what you've done, is what I point out in the video that I've made before. So if you're so proud of, the only thing you're proud of is being born in some imaginary lines. You've achieved nothing as a human being. So we should have a little bit of pity for them, a little bit of empathy for those people who are scared of immigrants and are so proud of their country that they don't want anyone in it because they haven't achieved anything. And it doesn't make them bad people, it means they live in a society where they can't achieve anything. So they are left with the idea that they attach to the society they're given to. They are given by the elite. They are given the concept of the United Kingdom to live in and be proud of. And a great many people out there are scared and uneducated, so they're proud of the only thing they've never had any control over. Before the, their free will even begins is what they're proud of. So nothing, they achieve nothing. They don't know how they manifest in the body in that set of imaginary lines, so they achieve nothing. And indeed, there is a percentage of people who voted to come out of the EU who are from there. And that's my view on those people. I have empathy for them because they live in such an underserved society they can only be proud of something they haven't achieved or something they did to all intents and purposes to most humans by chance or accident. They don't know how they manifest inside of their bodies, but they don't know that they live inside their bodies. And I don't blame them for that either. It took me 31 years to get used to the idea I live inside a human body. So what the hell was I doing before I was inside the human body to get, take that long to get used to the idea I was in one? Or is it just that society was built in a way that got me unused to the idea that I was living inside the human body. Because that is actually the truth of the matter. That's what's gone on in society. Instead of living in the present moment in your body, you're dropped into the Western societal system where it tells you, here's your goal. You get there and you're told, here's your next goal. Or constantly seeking something in the illusory future. It doesn't happen because by the time you get there, you've missed life altogether. As Alan Watts said, life's like music. The idea is to tune in and enjoy the music as much as you can, not to get to the end of the song, which is what the Western society is telling your children it needs to do and have told you that you need to do. Those who did vote that way, I have empathy for them. They voted for the wrong reason to come out of the European Union, but they did the world a favour. So you should get off their cases, get off their backs. And if you don't think they did the world a favour, you're not educated enough on the subject to be even co commenting on it. It's as simple as that. The powers that be were trying to unite the nations. And as I say, uniting nations is great. But what if someone's uniting the nations under the concept that they're going to unite them and then fall them onto this new concept of peace and unity and everyone falls under the one world government. You create the North American Union, the European Union, the Asian Union, the, the Middle Eastern Union, the African Union. You unite unions is easier to then you just unite every country individually. Great concept, amazing. But what if the people trying to unite those nations or all those unions are doing it for control? What if they're not doing it for peace and unity? What if they are doing it because they want to remain in control? What if they're doing it because it's then easier to govern the people and keep them elite? People who are controlling, either own or control every central bank on the planet bar three. What if it's those people? Which it is. To those of us who can see what's going on, it is. Inadvertently, those people who voted out of ignorance to be scared of immigration did you a favour. Other people who I know, who were very switched on, very conscious people, voted 
because they didn't want to see England forced into the European Union so as all the unions could be joined as one under the guise of what you've heard, the New World Order. And it sounds great that every nation unites together. That's amazing, but sort out the nations first. Sort out the unions first. If you think it's okay for human beings to be enslaved to a profit and loss system, which means someone in the human race will always suffer, will always go without, whilst the minority hoard and stockpile resources through greed or ignorance, then you go ahead and you try and unite those nations. But that's not the planet I want to live on. I want to unite nations that are fixed, that are healed. But before I want to do that, I want to just unite humanity, unite people. Unite them under a banner of love. And if you can unite people under love, you don't need to worry about what the elite have told you is your nations, is your countries, is your governments. You didn't choose to be born into them. And humanity didn't freely create them. They were created on purpose. The United Kingdom is governed by a centralised corporation called the Crown in the centre of London. That centralised corporation is where all of the financial sector is built up and the strongest currency on the planet just so happens to be in that country as well. It's a private corporation ruling the United Kingdom. When they go to, if you want to go to war, if you're, you're a prime minister and you have to go to war, you've got to answer to them. If they don't fund you, you're not going. If they want to go to war, you're going. This is how it works. The Crown of England private corporation, not part of the United Kingdom, not governed by UK law, doesn't even have the same police force or the same courts of law as the UK. But it dictates, it determines which countries it will go to. And the underserved populace who need to serve them, who, who need to provide for themselves and their families, get caught up in that by joining the army and stuff of this nature. Others join it because they're scared by the media, which the Crown controls, into doing so. <sighs> this echoes across the planet. Washington DC is not part of the United States of America. It never ever was. It never, it never has been. I've made a video about this. Who owns your name? Check it out. I put all the details in there. It's very, very easy to look this stuff up. Very easy to find it. But when you're too glued on the mainstream concept of your imaginary lines and what you belong to and what he and she belongs to, you're never ever going to see it because you're never going to sit still enough to watch and to learn. And if you're abusing substances and saying that you're all new age and you need to unite the nations and this is how it should be, but then you're taking ecstasy or you're smoking loads of weed or you're taking psychedelics all of the time, you're not going to have the knowledge or the functioning mind to be able to sit down and study and see it. You're just going to have the feeling that you're trying to express, which is great, get the message out, but you've got to learn. You've got to learn what's happening. The people of the United Kingdom left the EU. It forced the United Kingdom to come out. People like Rothschild, who owns and controls, in some way, every central bank on earth, bar Cuba, Korea. <sighs> I can't remember the last one. Cuba, Korea and Iran. They're the only ones they don't control or own in some way. They were speaking out the week before saying that it's financial economic suicide for England to go to leave the EU because they didn't want it. They, it wasn't part of what they needed. And yes, it took some bizarre racist group who were scared of immigration to try and push the country to have this vote which would get them out of the EU. But sometimes blessings come out of darkness because now the planet's not so easily thrown into a one world government when the time comes because there's independent nations away from these unions in positions of power. The country, the, 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 the United Kingdom with the strongest currency on the planet is independent from the control of the European Union, which is a conglomerate designed to push forward towards the new world order. And the New World Order is a bad thing. It's not just a unionship of countries. It's a unionship of countries to allow those who are in control, who have created war, who have destroyed your planet, to remain in control, but to do it in a different way. 
Sure, they still own and control the Bank of England. I've shown this in other videos, how the Rothschilds gained control of the Bank of England, which means they print your money. They sell you the idea that those bits of paper are worth something. They're their bits of paper. You empower them when you buy into it. But of course, we're now trapped in a system where we have to buy into it. We've lost the plot with regards to how it works. It's supposed to be based on gold reserves, at least on raw materials, but it's not. It's manufactured from thin air. So the people are completely lost inside that system and they are given a limited choice. And sure it happened by accident, but that they got the vote because of this bizarre lunatic who's scared of immigration. We all know who I'm talking about. And now it looks like they're going to have another bizarre lunatic in the form of Boris to, to rule the country. But what's relevant? What is relevant is that you... you, you Unite people. You have to unite people. You don't get angry at the imaginary lines and the people who were born inside there without any choice of their own, who are making decisions just like you're making decisions to try and live their life and to try and get on with things. I'm in Tanzania, I see it firsthand. People are just people here. People, they celebrate Muslim religions and Christians celebrate Muslim religions, Muslims celebrate Christian religions. There's none of that here because everyone's united under the common union of finding food and shelter, finding hope, finding one another, finding humanity in themselves and in, in each other. The United Kingdom, the people of the United Kingdom, those who voted because of immigration, I have empathy for them because they're scared of nothing. They're scared of the idea that's being fed to them by the boogeyman, which is the media. For those who voted, though, to try and help the rest of you, to try and stop a conglomerate of corporations and bankers because the UK is getting very switched on and very much sharing information and people are learning this quick, then they did you a favour. And if you're going to criticise them, and if you're going to say stupid things, and if you're going to bring up the past and say, well, the United Kingdom invaded the rest of the planet, but then they complain about immigration, then you need to go back away and you need to go within yourself and you need to develop. You need to understand that uniting people is what you want to be doing, not dividing people. And you can't just unite the countries and the nations that you've been told exist on planet Earth. Because all you're doing then is surrendering yourself to the central banking system. You're surrendering yourself to the, the model of the planet which has been built through the wars and stuff that everyone's saying we shouldn't have had and shouldn't be going on. England left the EU. The United Kingdom left the EU, sorry. Easy for me to say that because I'm from England, but the United Kingdom left the EU. If you do a little bit of research, it's at least slowed down. Some of the central banking cartels that are pushing to have all of these unions, not for the right reasons. I want to unify the world. I want us to give up war. I want us to give up borders. I want us to give up imaginary lines and I want us to give up saying they and, and them. I want us to be us. But I don't want to do it with a secret elite at the top of the pile because all of the new age people who are now promoting the movement, which is happening a whole lot, have bought into it without doing any research. Yeah, we need to unite everyone under, un, 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 all the nations should be one. Great idea, amazing idea what the world needs. But humanity has to gear it, not the government and not the banking cartels. And the European Union is set up and created not by humanity, but by the elite and the banking cartels. And the United Kingdom just pulled out of it. The people pulled away from the banking cartels. And who were some of the last people en masse to stand against the banking cartels? I'll give you examples. Unfortunately, in a stupid and ridiculous and pathetic and ignorant and awful way, the German nation did it under Hitler. They did it in an awful, awful way and it was so, so wrong. And I don't back anything they did, obviously, whatsoever. It was a horrible, horrible time for the world. But what were they trying to step away from? Central banking systems. Just they did it in the stupidest and most ignorant and barbaric of ways imaginable. Think of someone else who tried to step away from it. JFK tried to shut down the central banking system of America. What happened to JFK? For those of you out there who are educated in the free thinking movement, for those of you out there who are alternative thinkers, and for those of you out there who are seeking spiritual unity, 
you should congratulate those people who voted in the UK to step away from the New World Order system which has been put into place. And I hate even using the term because people go, oh, New World Order conspiracy. It's not, though. It's not. You just need to look at the quotes of these men who were in charge of these unions, in charge of the central banks. Rockefeller said it himself before 9-11. All we need is one global disaster and we can begin unifying the people under a new world order, a one world government. It's not what we need. What we need is a union ship of humans, a union ship of people, not a union ship of corporations, military industrial complexes and imaginary lines that we call nations and countries that we happen to manifest inside of. We need to break all of those things away in meditation is the only way to do it, in going within, in seeing through the illusion, seeing through the veil, and then unify from that position, unify from the purest of consciousness, unify from the base level of humans, which is love. And when we can do that, we can start building the world correctly, away from central banks, away from profit and loss, and in a position of where we deal with equality, common sense and common love, equality and morality. No one's allowed to stockpile and hoard resources while there are people starving. If you do, you must share. You will be forced by the people to share. Very simple. Why don't we do it? Because the elite don't want to share. They want to keep bombarding your brains with the concept that you live in this nation, that you belong to this and that you belong to that. Instead of letting you think you're as powerful as them, it just so happens that They've told so many lies to get to where they are that you can't release your consciousness to start seeing. And even those with released consciousness get so wrapped up in the media which they're feeding them that they don't even understand what's going on. They don't get it. They start getting angry at the United Kingdom for stopping something which was going to hijack that feeling that they were feeling anyway. Many people feel that they want the planet to unify, but that's been hijacked by the central banking system, by the European unions, by the concept of the North American union, by the concept of the African unions and the Middle Eastern unions. It's hijacked that part of humanity. And I want a real, I want a real evolution of humanity. I want one where we, where we unify as people, not where we unify the countries and military industrial complexes that created them. I want to unify his people under the common goal of love. And I'm sure most of you do too. So do some study. What happened was a blessing to the planet in disguise. For those who voted out of ignorance and immigration, you can't blanket call the whole of the United Kingdom for doing that, but they're just people like you and I. It just so happens that unfortunately, some of them have been so pounded down and underserved by society, or have become so weakened by the things that society has given them, the stimuluses, the drugs, uh, the ones that have been made legal, etc., uh, the diet, the lifestyle, the media, the technology, the ones that are planted upon those people has made them feel so empty and so useless in the world that they only have, the only accomplishment they have is that they manifest inside a body somewhere in between some lines another man told them they belong to. That's someone you should have empathy for, not someone you should be angry at. It's someone you should have love for because then you can maybe bring them around and get them to see. Get them to see through their heart instead of through their egos, which is filled with the pre-programmed nonsense that the media, which is controlled by the central banking system, which is controlling the, United, uh, the European Union, has fed onto them. If you want to change this planet, you've got to know what's going on. You've got to know that the United Kingdom, governed by the Crown, and up until now, the Crown has done very well at not giving the people any power to go one way or the other. But right now, the people have took the power, thanks to a racist lunatic, it would seem. But orders sometimes come from chaos. This is the, the nature of the world, of the, the nature of the reality we live in. So, you should pat those people on the back who just took the world one step closer towards having the ability to unify as humanity, as human beings, and not unify as the human beings that the military, industrial and political complex has told them they are. Because unifying those human beings leaves them in servitude, allowing human beings to wake up from all of those things and to say, I don't want to belong to that, you forced me to belong to this. Then unifying those people 
is where it's at. You've got to liberate the nations before you unify the nations. And you're only going to do that by, by being loving and tolerant, not by being brash and harsh. Okay. Much love, guys. <laughs>